How to Become a Strong Silver Stacker. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. This video is about how to become a strong silver and gold stacker. I'm also gonna share with you my end of year stacking goals. It's been an amazing 2020, hasn't it? I made most of them, but I missed one. But that's later. First, let's talk about how to become a strong silver stacker. You know, Little Stacks and I have uh, recently joined a gym and uh, Little Stacks is also learning how to drive a car. So it's a great opportunity for him to get out on the road with me holding on to the emergency brake and head over to the gym. We love to work out together. He is my bud. And uh, Little Stacks is working on a six pack. Uh, <laughs> just want to get rid of my one pack. <laughs> oh man, I used to have a six pack when I was in my 20s, but now those days are gone. So anyway, we're working hard to, you know, gain muscle mass, lose weight, and just have fun exercising. But there are three P's, as I like to call them, that are very important when working out and getting fit. They also apply to stacking. Okay, so I'll try to draw the analogy and hopefully it'll make sense. The first P is patience. Guys, it is hard to have patience when you're you know, building muscle, losing pounds. It's also very hard to have patience when you're stacking, okay? It, it, it's hard to be patient with uh, the results, uh, the, the, the size of your stack, all right? Like, like the size of your muscle, right? We, we want it now. We're, 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 we tend to be very impatient. We also can get really impatient when it comes to the price of silver and gold. I've talked about this a lot, and I know you guys out there feel what I feel. When is this going to turn around? Is, is silver and gold ever going to go up? Be patient. This is the time to accumulate. Anytime the price drops or even stays the same, this is the time when we need to build our stacks and prepare for what's coming. This decade is going to be unbelievable, okay? When it comes to inflation, when it comes to stimulus, when the dollar loses its reserve currency status, this is the decade you need to be preparing for. So that is tough, okay? And I, I feel it when I'm working out. I, I want results quickly and it's just not the right attitude to have you need to be patient you shouldn't succumb to panic stacking i've talked about this in the past i did a whole video on it don't be driven by fomo the fear of missing out i mean if you're a you're a collector stacker say maybe you're going to have fomo around that prize piece right that uh a hot item that you just absolutely have to have and you don't want it to go out of stock. Maybe you're a flipper stacker and you don't want to miss out on a, uh, a flipping potential, someplace to make a lot of profit. And if you're a prepper stacker like me, you might have fear of missing out on preparing for the dollar collapse, uh, an SHTF scenario, or, or maybe you just have enough silver and gold for retirement, whatever it is patience. Okay. That's, that's the first P. The second P that will really help make you a strong silver stacker is perseverance. Now, when it comes to working out and getting in shape and losing the pounds and building muscle, it takes stick to it -iveness. It's a lot easier to stay at home, look out the window, especially in my area when the snow is falling and say, you know what? I don't think I want to drive down to to uh, you know the workout club and, and, and put in the time, right? It's hard, it's easy to just relax, take it easy, especially after a long, hard day at work, right? But accountability is important there. And that helps to have little stacks saying, no, dad, we gotta go <laughs> work out. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, let's do it. So draw support from this incredible community that we have, please stick to your stacking. Don't give up. It takes perseverance. There's a lot of distraction out there. There's a lot of uh, uh, ways to get rich quick and to persevere and to have that persistence to continue stacking is hard. All right, so what about the third P? This one's near and dear to my heart. 
It may or may not be to you, but it is planning. I'm a big one for planning in my life, whether it be at work or or, or stacking or, or anything else that I'm involved with, including working out. Many people who start exercising make the mistake of not thinking through what they want to achieve you know, and how they're going to get there efficiently without injury, okay? <laughs> uh, full disclosure here, when I first started benching and I hadn't benched in a while, I was like, yeah, I remember how much I was doing. I was in my 20s <laughs> and I'm ripping out you know, the reps and Sure enough, after a few times going to the gym, one of my muscles had, you know, got a little injured there, and I had to, you know, <laughs> take take some medicine and, and heat and just kind of rest it. So many stackers are the same way. They just want to dive in and just buy everything. They they just want to wing it. But I think it's smart to set achievable stacking goals and plan how you're going to get there. This will help you avoid stacking injuries. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? You know, buying the wrong silver or gold item, you know, going into debt, being forced to sell part or all of your stack prematurely. Generally having buyer's regret. Now, I know some of you out there are saying, you know, I don't care, Yankee. It's all silver and gold. There's never a wrong move when it comes to buying your precious metals. What are you talking about? <laughs> I humbly disagree. But if, if, you, if you disagree with me, just put a comment down there and tell me why. I think it really helps to have a plan and see your goals met. It's an encouragement to me. So that brings me to the last part of this video and what my goals were for 2020. The first goal was to finish my American Silver Eagle Monster Box. Oh yeah, that was quite the uh, challenge. Uh, I don't know if you've been following my channel, uh, you know, this year and maybe the end of last year. You know that Silver Dragons and I had a little, you know, friendly competition. Who would get to the full monster box first? He won. That's okay. He's a great guy, and I don't mind losing because guess what? We both won. We both got a monster box full of this. So I was very happy to fill. My monster box, it, it happened quicker than I thought it would, and I worked hard at that. So that was my first goal. My second goal was to increase my silver stack by 200 ounces. Well, I did that. Actually, more than twice that, okay? I don't have the exact numbers. I'm going to do a full stack video probably in the first quarter of next year, but I did it. I did it in a variety of ways, uh, you know, constitutional silver, uh, Canadian maple leaf leaves. I got this tube. Uh, I, I got the Patriot pistol. <laughs> that was fun to get. So yes, I definitely blew past 200 uh, troy ounces of silver in my stack for 2020. The third goal I had was to increase my gold stack by a half an ounce. Now remember, this was back at the end of 2019. <laughs> I was trying to be a little bit conservative. I thought, okay, I'm going to shift a little bit more to silver. Well, for several reasons, I decided, you know what? I need to finish my maple musket. All right. So yeah, I did. I got, I got 20. Uh, uh, um, well, I, I got, um, oh, I think I had like uh, four quarter ounce uh, gold maple leaves and I finished off the other 16. So yeah, I definitely beat a half an ounce of gold stacking for 2020. Very happy to have the Maple Musket done. So the fourth goal that I had was to give away the Yankee box. And boy, was that a blessing to be able to accomplish. Again, I want to thank all those who took part in that incredible, epic journey of the Yankee box. I don't know if I'm going to do one again, a boomerang box, maybe after COVID-19 is done, because quite frankly, there is a big risk when you're sending that kind of silver and gold all around North America. Who knows? I'll probably do another one, maybe an international one. I don't know. I have to think through it, but let me just say that that was a big accomplishment for me to get that Yankee box to someone in our community. So that was my fourth goal. The fifth goal that I had was to expand the Yankee Swap. So what is the Yankee Swap? It's not a Christmas event like what's going on over at Silver Heist's channel. No, it was my way 
to encourage and help those in our stacking community by giving people who had either a uh, state tax burden or were shut in and couldn't get to a local coin shop or just didn't want to deal with the online bullion dealers to be able to buy their bullion from my local coin shop dealer, Tim Marshner of the Coin and Stamp Shop. So what I did is I set up what I called the Yankee Swap, and it would be a way for people to PayPal me money. I would take that money, I would go buy what they're after at my LCS, and then ship it to them and do it without any profit. Just, I just, I wasn't doing this to make any money. In fact, I, to be honest with you, I took a little loss. Whatever. It was my way to help our community and for all the things. Uh, that they have done to help me grow in my channel. So that was the Yankee Swap. And it was so successful. In fact, it was too successful, okay? I blew past what I expected to uh, have coming in on PayPal. And, well, I have some I have some splaining to do with the IRS. It was over 20 grand that came in on PayPal. So, yeah, I had to stop the Yankee Swap. Maybe I'll bring it back at some point. I've got some ideas on how to do that um, and, and how to handle the tax ramifications. But until then, I had to stop it. So, okay, I didn't expand it. But it was a success. The last thing that I was shooting for was less about stacking and more about just my channel. I was hoping to earn 10,000 YouTube subscribers in 2020. And I did. I broke 10,000 earlier in the year and even received a nice little award from my daughter. Isn't this great? <laughs> it's a play button that she had made for me. So I got past 21,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. But that is because of you out there in the community. Thank you so much for the incredible support that you have given me. I couldn't have done it without you, obviously. And for that, I'm truly grateful. Well, those were my goals, and those are also how to become a strong silver stacker. I hope it was helpful to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below what you think makes you a strong stacker. Look forward to setting my 2021 goals very soon. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.